Let's talk about the Onrunning Cloud Ultra. Let's talk about some specs. So these are a trail shoe. They're designed to be ultra cushioned, ultra comfortable, ultra versatile, and no distance is off limits. They have a super aggressive tread on the bottom that's meant for any terrain. They have this new flip release system that you can flip over to add some more room to the midfoot. They have mission grip to master any terrain. It has a double layer of Helion Cloud Tech for extra comfort. It has a breathable two layer mesh system, which is also really lightweight and breathable. It has this closed channel construction, which is designed to keep stones out. They come in two colorways, which is black and white and limelight eclipse. These are the black and white variation. They are 160 pounds, they are true to size, and they are designed to take on any terrain in total comfort. Let's get onto some likes of this shoe. So my first like is comfort, and they say about this right up top, this is one of the things that they've really focused on this shoe, and because it's designed for ultras and designed for trails, and the comfort is a massive thing. So the longest run I've done in these is 53 miles, uh, and that took me about eight hours, and yeah, they were super comfortable. Uh, I did make a mistake and actually really over tighten the left one because I, I was in a race when I did it and I was in a bit of a rush and I massively over tightened the left one and did cause a little bit of bruising but that was mainly my fault because when I looked at the shoe at the end and saw how tight it was I was like oh yeah okay that's a problem. Um, so I completely like cut off the blood supply to my foot. But anyway, that's more about me being an idiot than the shoe being badly designed. I do think these are super comfortable. Um, I got to the end of that race and my feet felt amazing. Um, they are really breathable, so you don't get any hot spots, you don't really get any blisters. That's really nice. Um, there's a lot of support in them, which is really good. So yeah, overall a super comfy shoe. Uh, and I think, yeah, they, they pretty much, they ride over any terrain, which is wicked. So yeah, that comfort really lasts for a really long time, which is brilliant. My next light is the tread. It's, it's aggressive, it's not too aggressive, but it just gives you confidence. Um, uh, yeah, I not much into like the sort of trail running stuff. Uh, I, I run a lot more road. So when I'm on trails, I'm usually a little bit, little bit cautious, but actually these give me so much confidence on the trail that I can actually set really good times. Uh, I've had other trail shoes where I've not been as confident with them. Um, maybe on like wet rocks and things, I've been a bit like, oh, okay, I'm gonna hold back a bit. Whereas with these, they give me a little bit extra confidence so I can kind of push the pace of it, which is really nice. So yeah, love the tread on these. Uh, it also is super durable and holds up really well. Um, I have used these on tarmac for sort of parts of ultras where you come off the trail and have to run down a road section for a couple of miles and they hold up really well. So that's really good because they'll also get you to the trail if you need that. If you need to run out your front door and run on the road until you get to the trail, these can get you there, which is great. My next like is the flip tab. Oh, this thing is amazing. I absolutely love this thing. So in the 50 miler, I unflipped this. Unflipped it, flipped it, don't know. Uh, but basically, yeah, I, I used it uh, about 28 miles in, I think, somewhere around there. And oh, it just, yeah, it was so good because I had it. I basically I did the shoes up how I wanted them with the flip tab on the, the tighter setting. Um, was sort of super happy, ran, kept going, 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 sort of as I felt my feet start to swell a little bit, which is quite usual on an ultra. Um, yeah, just unflipped that tab and absolutely lovely, just, yeah, lush. Just a little bit more room in that midfoot area where your foot starts to swell, and it, yeah, very nice. Okay, so the next thing is the heel. Uh, I was really skeptical about this heel. When I first put them on, I was like, oh, that feels really weird, I don't like it. Um, but then I ran like three miles in it and really liked it, which is cool. So it's quite low. Um, it's not it's not as high as you'd expect. There's, there's quite a bit of chunk on the bottom here, so actually the, the sole of the foot is quite high. Um, so this heel sits quite low, but 
I really like that because it's not super plush, it's not padded out massively. I mean, it's soft and nice, but it's not like the most plush heel you've ever seen. But because it sits a little bit lower, you don't get any sort of Achilles wear or soreness, or you don't get that ache and that rubbing, um, which is really nice. So yeah, the heel is super comfortable these, and it really locks you in place really well. But just by being that little bit lower and sort of squared off like this, it's super comfy. I, when I first put it on, as I said, I thought it was like super uncomfortable, really weird, not uncomfortable, but it just felt odd. I noticed there was something different about it. Um, but then as soon as I started running in them, I was like, oh, actually, I really like this. And it just felt nice and right, which is wicked. Another like is that they've done this closed channel design. This is wicked. This is so good. I wish they would do this on their road shoes. Um, especially the cloud flyer because um, this just kicks all the stones out you just don't get stones stuck in it it's amazing so I'm running over gravel and rocks and through woodland areas and things like that and you just don't get stuff stuck in the bottom of these which is really good because that's something that on running shoes suffer with I, I say suffer it in, in like it, it is an issue with some on running shoes so like, especially if you take the cloud flyer um, on the road, if you run over stones, they're just gonna get lodged. Um, but yeah, but this design really fixes that and I love it. So I hope they sort of take this and run with it, pun intended. Um, and yeah, I think that'd just be absolutely amazing. Uh, and then my final like is just how lightweight they are. Um, like you can really push the pace in these, which is really cool. Uh, they're such a comfortable shoe, but they also have like so much tech but then they're still lightweight. So they've got all the flip tab, things like that. They've got like the sock and all the extra cushioning and the aggressive tread, but they're still super lightweight and you can absolutely smash the pace in these. Uh, they almost feel like you don't have something on your foot, which is really nice. And along with that comfort that you can just roll over any terrain with no problems. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, I really, really love these shoes. I just, I think they're absolutely wicked. Okay. Let's move on to a couple of dislikes. I've got two for this shoe. There's just a couple of things that just bug me a little bit about it. So the first one is like, this is kind of like got a sock design, um, sort of debris filter to, to keep it out. However, it's not great. Um, that's something I found. So I have run, if you, on normal, normal terrain, I mean like you, you don't really get normal terrain on a trail do, but if you're running on anything that's not super fine, it's it's all right. But if you get any fine gravel or sort of like sand type terrain, it's going in. It's definitely going in, which is a real shame. And where I've really found it bad is if you're in a race and you're running with a group or a pack of runners um, and someone's ahead of you and they're flicking up a little bit of gravel, it just does not keep it out. Um, so that's a little bit annoying because with the lightweight factor and how nice they are and comfortable, these are like my go-to for ultras, especially on um, off-road ultras. So these are my go-to, but if we're running across gravel, I have to like keep away from people because if they're flicking stones up, I, I have to sort of get out from behind them. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit of a shame. Whereas I've had another pair of trail shoes and they actually had like this really good sock design and that was really cool. Uh, so that that's a little bit of a letdown with these is that it does let the stones in um, Which is a shame then my other dislike is actually the toe box. It, it just feels a little bit cramped Which I think is a shame. This isn't a problem. I've had with any other on running shoe Usually I think the way they do it is really good They've usually that they, they like to use their star lacing system a lot, which is really cool So they've got that on the cloud flyer and the cloud stratus and that's amazing because it allows the toe box to be wide And then hugs your midfoot. It's super nice Whereas this just tapers a little bit too much at the front for me and I find my little toe gets a little bit squashed in which is a shame because it just it just detracts from that comfort a little bit I don't really get blisters in these, which is good. Um, but if I do get any sort of blister, it's always on my little toe. Um, and yeah, I just wish I just wish it had a slightly wider toe box. I just think that would really help this shoe. So yeah, that's my that's my only two really dislikes about this shoe. Uh, apart from that, I I love it. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a shoe that can basically take you on any terrain, it can take you from your front door to the trail. Uh, if you've got something that's half trail, half road you're gonna smash it in this shoe. Um, it's it's really good, it's really durable. I've run over 250 miles in this shoe 
and there's really no wear and tear. I mean, they're, they're really muddy, but I don't care. I'm not gonna wash the shoes for a review. Um, so yeah, but like any terrain, yeah, these are just gonna absolutely eat it up. Uh, and they're also super lightweight, so you can push the pace, and they are incredibly comfortable. They're, they're so super comfy, which is absolutely wicked. They are called the Cloud Ultra for a reason. You really can just go ultra distance in these. Uh, so I'm hoping to push my races longer and longer and longer. The furthest I've done so far is 107 miles. Uh, so I just want to go further and further and further, and I think these will be the shoes that take me there, which is absolutely wicked. So yeah, if you are looking for a really wicked trail shoe, then the Cloud Ultra is a must. Thank you very much for watching, guys. So yeah, if you have any thoughts on the Cloud Ultra, if you've tried it or want to know anything, please drop that in the comments below. Make sure you give the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna have a lot more reviews coming out soon. Uh, the 100 mile drum kit toe is done, which is mental. So that was 107 miles whilst towing my drum kit, which weighed 150 kilos. Uh, it took 47 hours of non-stop running. I cried twice, no, I cried three times. Um, yeah, I swore a lot. I had a lot of pain, but I got through it. I played a gig at the end, um, so it was absolutely wicked. Uh, so there's loads of stuff about that on the channel, about training for it, and there is going to be a full-length feature film coming out uh, about that super soon. So I'm just working with a couple of guys to get that all edited. And I also have another challenge coming up, which I can't reveal yet, which is annoying because I really want to tell everyone. Um, but it's really cool, it's really far, and it's going to hurt. And that's like the three main things, isn't it? Cool, far, painful. Yeah, that's what I want. Um, so subscribe to uh, follow along with that. You can also hit the bell and be notified every time I upload. Uh, and then yeah, so every time I put my ugly mug on camera, you get notified, lucky you. So yeah, uh, if you do pick up the Cloud Ultra, let me know. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Let's talk about the, no, that's not, that's really muddy. Ultra cushioned, can't remember. I literally can't remember. Ultra cushioned, ultra comfort, ultra, that's really hard to say. Oh my god, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Just not happening. Woo! I gotta go away. It's a knee, the, the, oh wow, that did not go flat. <laughs> full length, full length, full length feature film.